What is up, Batman fans? I'm Tommy from ZD Comics, and welcome to my review of episode 4, Arkham of Gotham. So, I'm going to start with my non-spoiler review, like always, but before I get started, if you're wondering why this review looks a little bit different than my previous reviews, the answer to that is in the description box down below. I'm having some technical difficulties with my computer as of right now. But, let's get into my non-spoiler review. So, this episode was alright. I think it was a lot about character development and what's really in store for the future. I didn't think it was good as the past three episodes, but I did like it. I mean, I gave it a 7 out of 10, which is good, but it wasn't as good as like the 8 and 9 out of 10s that we have seen previously. But most of this episode is talking about what's going to happen with the Arkham City landmark. And basically, the final conclusion is, well, I'm not going to spoil that for you, but it's, it makes sense and it's pretty awesome. And a lot of this talks about really the gang war between Valcone and and Maroney and like really what's going to go happen with them because we do know that when Penguin came back in the very last episode he just flat out showed up right in front of Gordon's door and was like oh hello and pretty much that picks up right where the this episode starts off and he's pretty pissed off I mean you know Gordon is just like what the hell are you doing I told you never to come back to Gotham but you know Penguin has been working his way up we do know that he is officially working with Maroney and throughout this episode we see that he basically has an overall plan his future is set, and we kind of can tell what that is going to be in this episode. So a lot of this is focused on what's going on with Penguin and what's going on with the gang war, which all relates to what's going on with Arkham, which I really like how they, you know, introduce that to this episode. It's just like a lot of this entire episode and for the rest of the season is going to be focused on what's going on with the Arkham landmark, and that's pretty awesome. So that pretty much kind of wraps up my non-spoiler review, so I'm going to start getting into the spoilers. So if you do not want to be spoiled, don't worry, but I should just go watch the episode and come back to this part of my review and finish watching. So, spoiler alert, starting now, we find out that the Penguin's main idea is to kind of take over everything. He basically wants to be the leader. So he's officially working with Maroney, and he actually ends up hiring people to attack Maroney and just steal all his money. And per personally, Maroney thinks, oh god, Valcone did that. So he's like all angry and actually promotes Penguin because Penguin stole one of the money bags. So he was kind of honored. So he got promoted to the manager of the restaurant. So now he's the manager of the restaurant, sort of has the respect of Maroney. But we did find out that in the next preview for the next episode that uh, Penguin's just flat out going to come out instead of, uh, come out to Maroney and say, you know, I used to work for Fish Mooney and she tried killing me and now I'm here. And from what we saw in the preview, Maroney isn't going to be too happy about that. So I don't know how Penguin's overall plan's going to be right now. But so far, he worked pretty well on, you know, stealing all his money and doing all that. But I don't think he's going to, you know, completely just confess that he did that in the next episode. So what we saw as far as the Arkham went is basically Arkham got split up between Falcone and Maroney because that's kind of how the gang war was going to get started is because they wanted to take over that property. They were like, you know what? This, this, like, we need this, this is what we're going to do. And basically, Bruce Wayne wanted to happen was that, well, basically, Bruce Wayne's parents wanted to remake Arkham Asylum in a modern day, basically like what we see in the comics, a modern day asylum. And that actually does happen, but it's going to get under the reconstruction of Falcone. So basically, Falcone gets to use this waste dump and, re, you know, remake the Arkham Asylum, and Maroney basically gets to use these new low-income houses so basically Arkham City is broken up into a dump an asylum and some low-income houses so you can already tell that it's gonna end up being the Arkham City that we know today which is just one hellhole of villains all gathered up in one part of the city so you know when you have a dump and an asylum and some crappy houses it kinda just you know makes sense so that's what's gonna happen in the future if you didn't know so what's going on besides of course Penguin and the Arkham thing is Basically, we have a murderer on the loose, and his name is Richard Cadwell. Richard Cadwell is not really a character in the DC Comics, but he uses this new weapon, which is basically putting, like, a, it looks like a flute. A one half of the stick together with another half, ties them together, and it sort of just put it to your face, and it knocks you out or kills you and anything like that. So, basically, he tries murdering the mayor, and, of course, we see that Gordon comes in and basically saves the day. So, not really much to talk about on Cladwell. It's just he was trying to murder the mayor, and that all tied into, of course, what was going on with Arkham, because, you know, the mayor was going to choose, like, a different route. He was going to say, okay, Arkham City is going to get taken over completely by the Wayne Foundation or something like that, but no, he gave the property to Falcone and Maroney, and Bruce wasn't too happy about that at the end, because we saw that. He basically was talking to Alfred, it was like, or actually, you know, he was talking to Gordon, and he was like, you know, is this right for Gotham? Like, can anybody 
save Gotham. So, another hint towards Batman and everything. I feel like we're going to get that at the end of every episode. We're going to get something with Bruce Wayne and Batman and like a reference. So, hopefully, I don't overdo it. But as of right now, I'm really enjoying it. The last thing I want to talk about is actually the relationship between Gordon and Barbara. So, they kind of had a little bit iffy moment because they uh, actually, Gordon found out that Matoya actually had a relationship with Barbara. And, you know, Gordon was like, what? What, what are you talking about? You had a relationship with Matoya? So, he wasn't too happy about that. And then, because they kind of both lied to each other, Barbara was like, well, tell me, you know, who is Oswald Cobblepot? And then Gordon was just like, that's my job. I don't want to talk to you about it. And then Barbara was kind of being like, you know, I hate you. Why won't you tell me anything? And they kind of left. So there's a little bit of a tension going on there, but I don't think it's going to affect anything that bad. But we are going to get into that relationship, but they're not going to, like, break up or anything. They're definitely going to, you know, stay together. So that's my thought on it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this review. I Like I said, I give it a 7 out of 10, and I want to hear your review in the comment section down below. If you disagreed with me or you did agree with me or you thought this episode deserved even a better review, just tell me that in the comment section down below. But anyway, don't forget to like this video. Every like helps out my channel. My previous videos are getting like 2,000 views but only like 35 likes. It's like, what? So really take out that time. It's only a second to like this video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm Tommy from ZD Comics, and you have a great day.